Hey friends, today we are going to talk about pivot and pivot table in Pandas. Let's start with pivot. Pivot allows you to reshape or transform your data frame. What I mean by that is, let's say you have a input data frame like this, where you have a weather data and you have like date, city, temperature and humidity columns. For your data analysis purpose, you might want to transform this into this format where your X axis is date and your Y axis is city. Or you want to transform in this format your, where your X axis is your city and as a column you want to have dates. All of this can be done using Pivot. I have Jupyter Notebook here, so I launched it use, by typing Jupyter Notebook command on my command prompt and I created this new notebook and I have imported this weather.csv file here. So here is how my data frame looks. Now to transform it, uh, I will call df.pivot function, okay? And pivot function takes a couple of arguments. The first argument is what you want on your x axis or a row, okay? So at a row level, I want, let's say, date. So in that case, I will say index equal to date. So date here is the name of the column. And the second argument is columns. So columns, I want city to be in, in my columns, okay? And when you run this, you get this. So now I have dates as my rows and my columns are these. And then I have multi-level columns uh, for showing temperature and humidity. Let's say I want only humidity to be present in my output data frame. So for that, you can supply third argument, which is values. So values means what you want your value to be, okay? So when you run this, you get only humidity. You can slice and dice this in whatever way you want. Let's say I want humidity to be my rows and my columns are let's say city that is also possible that was all about pivot now let's talk about pivot table pivot table allows you to summarize and aggregate your tabular data now i'm going to use a different uh, spreadsheet uh, for this uh, for demoing pivot table so i will first call read csv to read my CSV file. So I have weather2.csv file, which I'm going to read it into my data frame. And this is my how my data frame looks. So as you can notice here, for same day, I have two numbers. So for New York, on 1st of May, I have two temperature and humidity number. This is let's say temperature in morning and in the evening. Okay, so same way, for Mumbai, I have morning and evening temperature. And now I want to create a data frame which contains an average temperature throughout the day for all these dates, okay? So this is something that I can do using pivot table. So you will say df.pivot table and in uh, the argument, you have index as your city and your columns is let's say your date so here now i can see that for mumbai on date uh, 5 1 my average temperature was 81.5 so you can see that this is uh, mumbai so mumbai is here and the temperature was 80 and 83 so the average of these two numbers is 81.5 Okay, so you can see that this is pretty useful now. I have aggregated my input data frame to produce this meaningful output, which can be useful in my data analysis process. You can also define your aggregate function by providing ag func argument. And let's say, I mean, I, I know it doesn't make sense, but I can maybe say sum as my aggregate function and it's gonna sum them up. So for, again, for Mumbai, it's 163 
because uh, the sum of 80 and 83 is 163. So you can see that it is doing aggregation on this input data frame. You can find the list of all the functions on Google. So you can uh, just say, so this is using numpy functions, by the way. So if you look at the numpy function, so we just tried sum here. You can try it even like a diff or count. There are various things you, you can try. So let me try count here. So count is gonna show you the count. So I have two numbers for each of these dates. So that's what it is showing me. Diff, diff works, but shows weird result. Mean is default. So that's what we get when you don't supply. Uh, egg funk argument and you can confirm this by going to Google and just say pandas pivot table so it will open pivot table uh, documentation and you can see that the default aggregate function argument is set to be mean okay and you can uh, read all other uh, arguments documentation on other arguments here so if I check one other argument I have margins is equal to false so let's say let's see what this does okay so I'm going to supply margins equal to true so margins equal to true okay I misspelled this so it should be this now margins will provide margins uh, which will have aggregate statistics so you can see that it added all column here and it added all row so what this is doing is this is showing you the aggregate like the average of these two numbers here and the average of these two numbers here so again based on what kind of problem you are solving this might be useful last thing we are going to talk about is grouper in pivot table so for demoing that also I have one more data uh, example so I'm going to read that CSV file here the file is called weather 3 CSV and when you print it it looks something like this so as you can see I have data only for New York City but the data is now coming from different dates so till now I had dates from month of May which is five here but I have some dates in December also you can see that in December New York is pretty cold compared to summer okay now you can uh, apply grouper function to aggregate based on date frequency what I mean by that is let's say you want to know average temperature in a month of May and average temperature in a month of December okay this is something that you can do using pivot table grouper so what you need to do for this purpose is you will say df dot pivot table okay and index is equal to pd dot grouper now if you look at the documentation for pandas grouper then grouper has a couple of arguments so first argument is frequency okay and if you read the documentation for frequency uh, it has all these possible values okay so it has month as a possible uh, value so we are going to use month because we want to know monthly average temperature okay so I'm going to say frequency is month and my key is your date so date is a column on which I am applying this uh, operation grouping operation okay and my columns is equal to city because I want to city I want to show city as my columns okay when you run this you are getting some error where it says only valid with date time index okay so the problem here is that when you read your CSV file Although it looks like a date, it is not really date. It is a uh, string object. So you need to convert that to date. And the way you do it is you will simply say df date equal to pd dot to date time df date. 
okay and when you print your data frame after that it it the column is now date so if you want to just confirm you can confirm it by this and you can say it's a series but inside a series the individual element is a timestamp so this is now a date column and now let me execute this one more time so when i run this now what i'm getting is the average temperature in month of may and month of december so you can see it is showing me the end date of may and end date of december and the temperature that you are seeing here are average temperatures so if you average 65 61 and 70 then you are going to get this much 65 okay and same for humidity all right cool so that's all we had for pivot and pivot table i hope you are having fun time learning pandas and python you can see that pandas and python makes data analysis process very very easy so even if you don't have any programming background you can get started very easily by following my tutorials and i'm pretty sure within few days you will have a good handle on uh, how to use these awesome tools for solving your data analytics problems i have provided a link to my jupyter notebook in the video description below thanks for watching goodbye